Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan, I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and Senior LM Consultant at Marvel LM. Today I will start a new series about upgrading TFS 2010 to TFS 2012 update 1. This upgrade also including migration the TFS 2010 to a new hardware. This series contain 9 parts and each part uh, consists of uh, one or many section and as well. So let's start part one introduction. This is the system before the upgrade. So uh, the old system is consists of these two machine. The first machine is a domain controller uh, that has Windows Server 2008 R2 Service Pack 1 with Active Directory and uh, DNS of course. The second machine is a TFS 2010 that has SQL Server 2008 R2 Service Pack 1 Enterprise Edition and uh, Analysis Service, Reporting Service. It also has a uh, Windows SharePoint Server uh, 2010 configured to integrate with TFS 2010. Uh, it also has TFS 2010 build service configured to working with the TFS. The operating system for the TFS 2010 is a Windows Server 2008 R2 Service Pack 1 with latest updates. This is the new machine that will hold the TFS 2012 and migrate the old TFS 2010 to it. This is the new system after the upgrade. We can see here that the new server will have Windows Server 2012. It will also have SQL Server 2012 with Service Pack 1 with analysis service and reporting service. It will also has build server. I will use uh, the old machine as a SharePoint. I will not uninstall the SharePoint 2010 uh, and I will use it as a SharePoint machine uh, to work with the new environment uh, and I will install the build server in the new machine uh, TFS 2012. So at the end of the upgrade we will have a TFS 2012 server and SharePoint 2010 server and domain controller. In the next blog series and videos I will show how to perform this upgrade. At the end I'd like to thank you for watching this video. I will be more than happy for answering any inquiry about the content. Thank you.